Did you know you could turn enemies against each other or take out a Hinox in two hits using nothing more than a bow and arrow with fuse abilities? No fluffing around, let's get into it. Muddle buds are a very strange plant found in the depths that sound eerily similar to a group of people in the Harry Potter series. <laughs> They can be used by themselves, but the best results come when fusing them onto your arrows, particularly if you can fire multiple arrows at once, something we'll cover in a little bit. The moment they land, they'll turn your enemies against each other, giving you an opportunity to put your feet up and enjoy the action. Ever since the gameplay trailer for Tears of the Kingdom dropped, we knew that we'd be able to use Key's eyeballs as a form of homing arrow, but don't waste them on standard enemies, take them into boss fights with you. I'm particularly enjoying fighting Gleox at the moment, and using Key's eyeballs not only makes the fights go faster, giving you a chance to take cover, shooting from behind structures and things like that, but it also makes the final phase where the Gleox fly high into the sky so much easier. Just point, shoot, and let the arrow do the work for you. Now, while we're on the subject of keys parts, there are also a variety of wings you can fuse to your weapons. These can be dropped by other monsters too, each with their own effects and abilities. These are particularly useful in the early game, or if you're doing a playthrough with a low amount of health, being able to take enemies down from afar. Try out different combinations, and you can even use rockets too. But it doesn't have anything on the most powerful bow fusion though. Hang tight, it's coming in a minute. Another fusion from the gameplay trailer of Tears of the Kingdom that made people very curious was the ability to attach meat to your arrows. Some might say that Nintendo were trying to raise the stakes. <laughs> ah. Anyway, they're actually really useful, albeit a little bit tricky to use. If a meat arrow lands near an enemy, you'll distract them and have the ability to sneak up behind them and deliver a deadly sneak strike. If there's ever a master mode or a new game plus, this will be incredibly useful, but for now, it's fun just to watch them stand there all confused by their sudden snack delivery. If you plan on doing this, you'll pretty much be an unpaid Uber Eats driver. Now, it's time for a few honorable mentions before we move on to the most powerful bow fusion in Tears of the Kingdom. Dazzle Fruits attached to your arrow will give you a moment of opportunity in which you can stun any enemy, but be quick, as they don't last too long. Attaching a cannon to your arrow acts as a perfect alternative to bomb arrows if you're running low. Oh, and don't forget about your elemental arrows too. Finally, use Puff Shrooms if you're in a bit of a pinch and need to flee the scene, making all enemies nearby lose sight of you. Alright, so last week we covered the most powerful sword in Tears of the Kingdom. There's a card on screen and a link in the description if you haven't seen it. You all seem to really enjoy that one, so let's talk about how you can reach a similar amount of damage while keeping a distance from your enemies. You're going to need a few things to help you reach this level of power. First of which is going to be either the Radiant Armor Set or the Evil Spirit. The Radiant is a lot easier to obtain, so that's the one we're going to be talking about in this video. You can find it in Kakariko Village. When you arrive, it'll be available, but for an extremely high price. To get those numbers down, all you have to do is talk to the shop clerk, complete a very short quest, and you'll be able to get the prices that you see on screen now. Once you have the armor, you're going to want to upgrade each piece to level 2. The upgrades aren't that expensive, but it gives you an enchantment that doubles damage when using bone weapons and attachments, which is going to be essential for this build. Now, you're going to want to get your hands on a multi-shot bow. Most of you will already know this, but to get one of these, all you have to do is take out a Lionel. The stronger the Lionel, the higher chance of you getting a 5-shot bow, or even one with an attack up bonus like the one you see here. There is a Lionel farming guide in my Weapon Fuse video, again linked in the description. Check it out if you're struggling to get a decent bow. Finally, to complete our preparations, you're going to need some Gibdo bones. If you haven't already completed the Desert Storyline mission, simply head to Gerudo Town or any of the surrounding villages. In my case, I've recently completed the quest, so the best spot for me is right here in the depths. Farm a bunch of Gibdo bones, and then we're ready to go. Now, using it is incredibly simple. Just point, attach a Gibdo bone, and fire, and you'll see the amount of damage is absolutely ridiculous. The reason this works so well is you're obviously firing three arrows, each with an attack up bonus. Then you're also adding the Gibdo bone power to the arrows. And then all of that damage is then doubled because of the armor that you're wearing, because, you know, you're using bone attachments. That's all for now. Subscribe for more, because next week I'm going to be sharing some essential and secret tips and tricks for Tears of the Kingdom. Catch you in the next one.